Hi guys, this is lesson number 23 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to apply this artistic media effect to the text and how to use interactive fill tool to create this nice gradient color for text and object. As you can see that we have a beautiful background with this text multicolor effect. So let's see how it's done. Let's uh, move these things to the side. Here we are going to do now. Zoom tool. First of all, we are going to type the text. So go to the text tool we have here. Click on text tool and type text. Y N Tutor, you can type your desired text. Click on pick tool, we can increase the size. Just resize from the corner and here we have you can apply the font i have this font here available in my computer whatever the font you have in your computer you can apply any stylish font for practice purpose so this is how we have now before we apply the artistic media the first thing uh, we can move color from inside and we can apply outline to this text and also we will convert this text into shape so go to the object and here we have convert to curve okay we need to convert this text into shape mode because if the type control is active artistic media it might not work so now this text is already in the shape mode and we can remove color from inside you can click here click on this x left click and right click on black so you can see that here we have outline while the text is selected we will go to the artistic media and you can see that our brush here is selected we have sprayer we have pen but right now we are going to use brush so brush is active and here we have uh, different categories we have artistic calligraphic object scroll and i am going to choose this uh, calligraphic brush and you can see that this brush is active here i will click once again while the text is selected so you can see that that brush is applied but make sure before you apply this brush, you apply only outline to the text and remove color from inside. Because sometimes once the text is filled with the color, the effect doesn't work. So now it is applied. And here we have, you can see that the size. Okay, if I will increase this way, it will be thick. And I can reduce to make it a little bit normal. So this is, I think it's uh, okay. This size is okay for that. And here we have... Uh, freehand smoothing you need to leave it as it is artistic media is having itself its outline and fill so we need to left click here to fill any color if i want look at this the color is filled but outline is black i will remove outline we don't need and you can see that now only we have a fill in order to apply the gradient color multicolor in this we need to break artistic media as you can see that here we have interactive fill tool if i will click it and try to drag here this way it might give message you can see that fountain fill cannot be applied to the selected object what is the reason the reason is because our artistic media is in the front at the back of artistic media we have text okay so coral draw cannot decide that whether we are going to apply this uh, interactive fill to the artistic media or the text Okay, to make it clear this thing, we need to separate the text from artistic media. So what we will do, we'll go to the pick tool, it is selected, object, break artistic media group. Okay, now we have uh, two texts. One is artistic media text and under this we have the real type. So I'll we'll click it and you can see that here we have a uh, text. This is the text. So if we want, we can apply gradient color in this text or if we want, we can apply gradient color now to the artistic media we are not going to use this so i will just delete it and now here we get our artistic media effect now if i will use interactive fill tool it will really work so click it and click and drag all right you can see that interactive fill is working and we have two points one side we have blue and other side it is a white color so if i want to change the color i can click here and choose my desired color Let's say I will apply red here and from this side if I want I can click here and choose any color okay so this way we can apply now I apply here maybe yellow yeah that is fine 
and uh, you can click outside this is how the color is applied but there is another way if you want you can choose any color from the swatch here and just drag it to this square look at this now the yellow color is applied here if I want I can apply any other color to the other side let's say this green here so that is also the way that you can apply color from the palette here let's bring this outside here so we can see more color and expand it all right here we have a slider in the middle if I want to bring this slider this side the green color will be moved to this side look at this now we have more green this side if I will move it back now the yellow will run this side to the left another thing if you want to add more color you can double click on this path you can see that this dashed line double click anywhere you want to add the color let's say I want to add color here so double click and you can see that we have another small square here and any color I will drag here now look at this now first color is yellow and then we have a, this uh, pinky shade another I will double click here we have another point and if I don't want to drag from here I can just click it and from here I can choose you can see that we have here color picker we can take the color from here and we can move the slider down to change the shade or we can go to the swatches here we have swatch you can click and here in this spectrum bar whatever color is selected here similar color shades coming here okay and it is coming this way because paint tune color is active we will talk in our coming lesson in more depth about paint tune but I am going to choose now here the regular color default color that is CMYK we'll go down here and we'll choose default palette okay so now we have the same palette that we have here outside so now I can choose any color here I will choose maybe sky blue and then again double click to add another small square here and let's move color from here now to this look at this now this is how beautiful transition in our color we have now double click again to add more let's apply some other color purple all what you have to do you need to drag the color to the square once again double click let's add something else maybe orange so the last color here that is green it is okay guys you need to be careful while doing this process because when you will apply multiple color sometime coral draw it might crash your file you need to wait little bit till the time color is fully applied that is fine we can go to the pick tool and you can see that we have multiple colors now we need to prepare this background simply we can create a rectangular shape here and uh, we can use shape tool to apply radius to the corner this way now we can use interactive fill tool click on interactive fill tool click on drag okay so this what is applied if you want to apply a multiple color another way is you can just click and drag here on this path on this dashed line so automatically coral draw will create another color so let's see how it's done let's try from some color I will apply this color here okay and from the other side maybe we can take this color red and in the middle I will apply different colors we can take maybe blue here just bring the color here automatically coral draw will create the point now you can see that here we have that is more easy and uh, we can go to the orange we bring it here maybe yellow and uh, let's apply some pink shade also and here we have a purple okay so that is enough you can move that point from one place to another place we can adjust them here I think we can apply some light color it's too dark okay so that is fine here we have a different mode if you want you can change the mode also look at this now the selected mode is linear if I will click on this it's come this way here we have a conical that is like this and here we have also rectangular look at this so different modes we can apply I am going to use only linear so here we have and anytime you want the color direction you can change from this point if I will do this way you can see that 
now I am giving angle that's fine so I will click on pick tool and we will remove outline we don't need outline with this so we can send it back object order to back of the page so you can see that our text is in the front but here we can see that the white shadow is applied okay so this shadow how to apply same way the way we used shadow in our previous lesson we will apply to this text the way we have done in our night scene the one we make scenery and we apply shadow to the moon that is the way we will apply shadow what you need to do you need to select the text and go to the drop shadow and click and drag simply to apply the shadow so you can see that we have a shadow applied already I will change the color here to white okay and you can see if you will observe the shadow doesn't appear around the text okay what is the reason in our background also have multi colors and the shadow is white and our mode is multiply okay white signal in the color it is equal to one okay and black signal it is equal to zero so now white color is applied to the shadow since white signal is one one multiply with these multiple colors so it is one so the shadow color it will become also the same so you cannot see the shadow so what you need to do here you need to change the mode to normal okay now you can see that the shadow appears but it's not really enough uh, we need to increase and for that thing we need to go here feathering direction and click on outside simply click on outside and you can see now the shadow it's spread up and our opacity here we have 50 if I will increase we will apply 100 so you can see that now it is really clear and the size here we can increase and reduce the feathering okay that is fine our text is fine with the artistic media and we apply gradient to the text and we apply gradient to the background another thing here we have a shadow that is simple you can just select the background press plus key to make a copy and fill it with some gray color and send it back object order to back of the page so you can see that it is in the back and just stretch it a little bit here so it gives a little bit 3d look and there's a shadow and if you want you can even reduce now it is gray this way i hope you enjoy this lesson and it will be useful for your future projects try to practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you